Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Continue. <laughs> At our first destination. We were a little rushed this morning trying to get here, so we didn't have time to say good morning on our way. And David was trying to get footage off of our SIM card so we could actually film some stuff. <laughs> but we made it to, it's called Wyo Tapu, I believe. And it's a walking trail with geothermal springs and stuff. I, I don't really know. And then there's also a geyser that we're at right now, and it's going to erupt at 10 15, so we're just waiting for that to happen. And then we're going to go for a walk. So everyone is standing around this little thing right now, waiting for it to go off. We made it into the park now. Yep. And there's so many people here. Yeah, it's quite busy. Compared too. to yesterday, so we decided everyone, to be everyone went left to number one, and we went right to number twenty-five. <laughs> We're gonna go backwards because we don't want to deal with all the people. Yeah, there's too many crowds. Yeah. There's like busloads of tour like things that are here, so it's just a crowd yeah. trying to look at one thing. So this is a lot nicer. No one. <laughs> it's lovely. Ooh, look how green that is. What the? It's like neon green. That is Devil's Bath. Devil's Bath. This place is unreal. Look at that. There's just smoke everywhere and craters. And just this little path that you walk along. <laughs> steam there is from this place. It's so cool how orange the ground is and how blue the water is. It's a hundred degrees apparently and look how much fog it's creating. It's fogging up Courtney's glasses so she can't even see. So we made it to the Craters of the Moon. Yeah. What was that? I was gonna go on this side of you. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> doing something behind it. I don't know, I guess the first thought was it's kind of unreassuring. Yeah. With the it enter says at your it's own risk. danger, enter at your own risk. No yeah. liability. <laughs> <coughs> But that's after you pay your eight dollars to get in. Yeah. <laughs> then you. They want your it. money first, and then there's no liability on their part. So this place is pretty cool. So far, it doesn't smell, so that's good. Yeah. So this is what it looks like with a bunch of danger signs and steam everywhere. 
And it's a 45 minute loop, yeah. I think she said? Yep. So that's cool. And now we're just going to walk around and look at some more volcano stuff. this crater is and it's so cool there's like a little mini forest in the center of it with bubbling mud you can hear it and there's just steam everywhere and it's so nice and warm right here because the steam keeps blowing on us so it's so nice and warm all the way to the lookout point and I think it was worth it. It was awesome up here. Yeah, it's really cool. It looks yeah. like a minefield with all the steam. Yeah. It looks like smoke it from bombing. It looks like bombing. war just came in. Yeah. yeah. So there's this huge one right here. Hopefully you can hear it. I think we'll get closer and you might be able to hear yeah. a little better. Then there's a volcano down there and then this is what we walked through just now. So we came from that path right there and we climbed all the way up here. Hopefully you can see it in the camera but look at that mountain down there it has snow. Oh and the one to the left of it does too. Back on the road after finishing up at the craters of the moon. It was actually really cool. I'm kind of glad that we're leaving the Volcano Valley place. I have that whole like rotten egg yeah. smell like stuck in my throat. I'm excited for fresh I think it's in our at this point. Yeah probably. So now on to the next type of vegetation and landscape and everything so it's cool so that we get, we get to see so many different things here. Now we're just heading to Napier which is like a coastal, like a little coastal town pretty much. We made it to Napier and we just took a little pit stop because it was a a lot of driving and we needed to stretch our legs so we came up to a point called Bluff Hill and we can overlook the whole dock port yeah I guess port and Napier on the other side which we'll go over in a bit yeah you can hear them working hard and then you can see all of the lake it's really nice and then over here you can see the mountains in the distance not very well, but then yeah, it looks like a storm's rolling in. Well, knock on wood. <laughs> we had a kind of a scare, I guess. We thought it might have been our brakes. There was this really high-pitched noise coming from... Like squeaking. Yeah, noise. squeaking. Or like the, a scraping noise. Yeah, in the front left tire. So I thought it was the brakes. But then I also read somewhere that sometimes rocks get stuck, and we did go through a lot of rocky places. But I think when we were going up and down to go to that lookout, because it was really hilly, I think it got dislodged, and now there's no noise. Yeah, so that's hoping. really good. So now this is really nice. Yeah. Like, kind of was like a beach, <laughs> but like way nicer. Yeah. So this is a nice place, Naper. We want to go there, Cape Kidnappers, but it takes four hours. It's a four hour there and back. Or two, or yeah, otherwise it might take five, I think. Well, like, because you'll have to Because you have to walk well. instead of taking an ATV. Now we're just going to the Tamata Peak. So hopefully we can see it from there, maybe even better. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Place. And there's sheep running wild everywhere. Up there. Yeah, yeah, one of them so. was crossing. So we just drove up this windy trail. <laughs> Look how scary this is. We're so high up. This would be pretty intense hand gliding from here. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> be a little scary though. Time to 
make it down this treacherous drive. Yeah. Can't believe people are walking up here. We were lazy, we drove pretty much to the top. No, we were smart, not lazy. where we can see Cape Kidnappers. Unfortunately, we can't actually drive there. And like we said, we'll have to do a tour tomorrow if we actually if we decide wanted to. to go up there. Because we have to wait till it's low tide so that we can walk along yeah, all the way here. Yeah, apparently we can walk here. along this beach to get there. Yeah. But it's high tide right now, so yeah. there is no beach to walk on. So, so this is the Pacific Ocean right here. Yeah. This guy's fishing. Yeah, this guy's an intense fisherman. He has two rods going on a table. And look at all the mountains. Yeah, like in the, the background. Waves. So yeah, the waves are huge. Yeah, it's really pretty here. It's very nice. So I think now we're just going to head to our campsite. Yeah. And then it's time to cook. I'm starving. I'm so tired. Yeah, it's gonna be nice getting there early and actually being mm. able to. Yeah, now with the sun setting an hour later, it yeah, actually gives us moved, so much time. We we actually went ahead one hour. It was daylight savings for us here, mm -hmm. uh, so we sprang ahead because it's spring. So yeah, it's gonna start getting dark at around seven after seven now, mm -hmm. which is nice. We have that extra hour of daylight. Yeah, it's very good. Yes. You have a okay. cute little neighbor. Oh, I can't. It's so blue. Oh, there he is. We have a little neighbor. So cute. Scared me, but... We'll go away now because we're feeding it. Yeah. They're letting me pet him. And look at this awesome dinner that Courtney just cooked up. While I went to go shower quickly. Courtney didn't have any luck showering, did ya? No, my water was freezing. Did you have hot water? Yeah. Mine was absolutely that? boiling. I could barely how stand you, underneath how it. How did you get it? I don't know, I just turned it all the way around. Picked the worst one. Except for me. Our little friend's back, and I think he brought a friend. I can hear it underneath the car. <laughs> oh, we gave it some milk. Alright, well that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. We hope you guys enjoyed seeing the sights with us. Mm -hmm. Seeing all the different volcanoes and yeah, it was awesome. craters. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It's so neat to see what, like, happened years ago, and it's still... I can't still, believe it's still here. Yeah. yeah, it's still here. It's crazy. It's nice to not smell all that again and have it stuck in, like, the yeah. back of your nose and in your throat. Yeah, it's nice to be in fresh air again. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. But tomorrow we're going to probably get up a little early. Mm -hmm. We have sort of a long day ahead of us driving. We're making our way down to Wellington. So it's a pretty far drive with everything included, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to have stops along the way to break it up so it won't feel as bad. Mm -hmm. um, but it should be a fun day. We're going to have nice views again. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of mountains in the next three days. Yeah, there's a lot of hiking in the next. I think this last half of the trip is yeah. pretty much all hiking, going to parks and walking on mountains and stuff mm -hmm. and seeing nice views. So that's about it for today. Time for bed. Yeah, I'm we're exhausted. tired. <laughs> yeah, we've been tired like all, all day. The time. Oh, no, I can't. No, I don't no. think we get the best sleep at nights because it's really chilly. Mm -hmm. Hopefully tonight's not too bad because right now it's not it really cold bad. and yeah. Normally it's freezing in this van, so mm -hmm. we're like trying to turn the <laughs> car on to heat it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we have a good night's sleep, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. No. Nate. This thing told us to go up <laughs> these two streets that aren't even streets. It told me to go left here to go a different way. <laughs> so I'd go that way.